So it has now been 19 days since Jordan Love initially suffered his MCL sprain versus the Philadelphia Eagles. And he has, of course, missed the past two games with Malik Willis coming in, leading the Packers to a 2-0 record with some great scheming up on offense by Matt LaFleur. And so today we have an update on Jordan Love. It is Wednesday, which means it's a Packers uh, first practice of the week where they show um, their injured players and sort of how they're doing. And so from Bill Huber on Twitter, we have Jordan Love was limited in making progress. LaFleur says Alexander, Clark, Jenkins, Kraft, Love, Musgrave, Myers, Reed, Tom, Valentine were limited. Jordan Morgan, the only, did not participate. So Jordan Love limited once again. Last week, Love was limited Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And so today, it looks like he was limited once again. And here we have from Tom Silverstein on Twitter, LaFleur on how they go about practice with QB Jordan Love. Quote, we have a plan, LaFleur said. Obviously, that's dictated by our medical staff in terms of how much he can do. So just hopefully we'll keep building him up every day. And then here's from Matt Schneidman who says, Jordan Love asked if he's less limited in practice. Quote from Love, we're building it up for sure. Every day is a little bit better. End of quote. Said he says he's definitely moving better. On playing against the Titans, Love says I was pretty close. And so now we're coming into a massive game at Lambeau Field, week four against the Minnesota Vikings, who are currently 3-0, leading in the NFC North. And just because of that, the fact that it has now been nearly three weeks since the injury, the fact that Love seemed to be close to playing last game against the Titans, in my mind, my prediction, just based on what's going on right now, the um, importance of this game against the Vikings, I'm pretty confident, just my own prediction, that Love will play in this game. Part of me even wonders if Malik Willis had been really bad in the first week he played against the Colts, there could have been a chance that the Packers threw Jordan Love in against the Tennessee Titans, and maybe because Malik Willis played so good against the Colts, the Packers felt comfortable that they could win that game with Malik Willis as a starter and give Jordan Love another week to rest. And so I would honestly just be shocked if Jordan Love doesn't play in this game. Um, He looks pretty good in some of the clips I've seen at practice. It's sort of some kind of walkthrough stuff, but... He doesn't look like he's, um, you know, moving that slow based on a a few small clips that I've seen. And um, I just think that when you look at the typical range of recovery from MCL sprains, which I shared, I think it was from uh, that account called, uh, what was it called? I can't remember, like Title Town Rain, I think was the name of the Twitter account that shared the MCL sprain information. And there were a lot of quarterbacks who didn't miss any games. I think it was either four or five missed two games. And so um, I think that love coming back, on Sunday makes perfect sense, and and I, I'm pretty confident he's going to be back just based on what we've seen, the importance of the game. I think he will be back on Sunday, and so we'll see the rest of the week, Thursday, Friday. We'll see if Love has any kind of injury designation going into Sunday, or maybe he'll be good to go. Um, it's going to be a fun one. If Malik Willis does start, I still think the Packers have a chance. I just think that you want to throw Jordan Love out there when he has more experience than Malik Willis against a Vikings team that has a very good offense and defense. We haven't really seen the Packers face a very good offense with Malik Willis as their starter. And so I would just rather see Jordan Love out there because um, of the experience he has. And I do think he's still one of the best quarterbacks in the league. And um, if Malik Willis is out there, the Packers definitely have a chance to win because of how good Malik has looked. But we'll keep an eye on this. Make sure you have the notifications on so you don't miss any Packers news. But thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.